Hey guys, this is Danae. I'm just coming to you um, quickly to talk to you about financial aid and some other things you need to do to prep yourself for school. Uh, so if I keep looking down, excuse me, I have a list that um, I want to get through so I don't forget anything. I'm going to start off by telling you guys about FAFSA. You all know you need to go on and fill out FAFSA and submit it to the school. Uh, once you do that, I will say um, they're going to send you, like they're going to offer you a package, except the maximum amount of money, that's what I did, that's what worked for me. In addition to, in addition to um, accepting the maximum amount of money, also applying for the Graduate Plus loan is very helpful. That loan works uh, for every two semesters, so coming in in the summer, it will last for the summer and it will last for the fall. But don't make the mistake of not reapplying for it in the spring because when spring comes around and you don't get your reimbursement check and you're like, well, I don't have money, how am I going to pay my rent? You're going to have to wait like an additional two to three weeks to get that that loan once you apply. Um, so just remember that loan is every two semesters. And to get the Grad Plus loan, you have to go to um, studentloans.gov. So it's a little bit different than FAFSA. Um, also, you will not get any money from financial aid until the first week of school. So your rent, your travel expenses, all of that stuff, your business, casual attire, if you were thinking of using financial aid money for that, that's not really going to happen for the first month because they will not give you that money until orientation week. So just keep that in mind. Also, this is some personal information about me, but I'm going to share it with you guys. Leaving my undergraduate degree, I um, owed $27,000, and um, now I'm in my third semester of PA school, and I owe $110,000. Um, so just to give you guys an idea of how much money um, you're going to um, owe the government, how much money you could potentially rack up, and that number is a growing figure because I'm in my third semester, and we have um, like four more semesters to go. Our program is seven semesters long. So um, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is um, immunizations. So basically we use a, um, this site called Complio and it's really helpful because if you um, are about to expire with anything, they send you an email, they actually, I guess they harass you with emails, I don't know. Um, they'll send you an email and that will help you to know, oh, I need to update this, I need to do this. So those immunizations are the PPD, your flu shot, MMR, Vercella, um, Tdap, Hep B vaccine, and you also need a physical exam. Please just don't take my word for all of the immunizations. Make sure you go onto the site and um, look at what you need and tell um, your primary care provider that you need all of those shots before you go for your physical so you don't have to go back and forth. Um, there's also a physical form that you have to fill out. Um, and then take pictures of, um, the, the school actually doesn't have a specific physical form, but you have to prove that you had a physical. Um, then you have to take pictures of everything that you have and upload it to the system. Um, so make sure you look at that. And the other thing that you have to submit is your CPR. So you also submit that online. So you cannot come to school with your CPR outdated and you cannot start school without any of your, with your vaccinations not on file and up to date. Also, if you guys have any questions for me, please just let me know. I just wanted to um, give you guys a quick video because I know financial aid is a big topic for a lot of people. Okay, guys, enjoy the rest of your week. All right, see you later.